Good morning, YouTube Pie Smokers. You know, something I want to get off my mind, this whole uh, COVID-19 thing. You know, if you were to take any number, the bottom line here, what I'm thinking of doing is putting fear into everyone for unnecessary reasons. And here's why I say that. If you put any figures into a daily number, of how many people die from cancer or car accidents, the numbers would be shocking to a lot of us. Even eating a hot dog, how many people die by eating a hot dog? Because the hot dog happens to be the same size as the hole in most people's throat, and many people choke on hot dogs and die, believe it or not. If that number was printed every day, and the news and every media outlet spoke about that every day, You'd stop eating hot dogs. Now, I'm not saying the virus is not a bad thing. And obviously, for the people that it took, it's a terrible thing for the families and everything. But I don't think the way they're going about it, putting fear into everybody, is the right approach. And here's my take on it. The number will never be zero until there's a vaccine or some kind of remedy for it. So... Whether you open it up today or two months from now, you still run the risk if you go out of catching, get, catching the virus. So I say open it up. The people that are really uh, susceptible to having a lot of harm from it over certain age groups or preconditions, then they need to stay, let them use their own judgment and stay home. But for the people that most times it'll just get a cold or something. You have to, you can't keep us locked down like this. It's just not right, and it's ruining people's lives. <clears throat> and I don't know why they're doing it to, to constantly put this fear. And, and who the hell is one person, like my governor of New York, to make a decision for us? Based on what? He's, he's got no problems being locked down. He gets whatever he wants. And then they show his daughter in the streets with no mask on, and he don't even address that. What kind of BS is that? Anyway, <clears throat> just venting a little bit, I guess. But um, think about that. Any number, whether it's car accidents, motorcycle accidents, bicycle accidents, the number would be in the tens of thousands, and you'd say, what the hell is this? we got to stop people riding bicycles in the street. <clears throat> and that's true. Any number would be shocking because the world's a big place with a lot of people. <clears throat> anyway, hope you're having a good day and have a good week, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.